Do these statements sound familiar? We had no control over that project in our department. Or how about this one? Upper management makes those decisions. Or competitors forced us into those arrangements. Or those policies are set by the government or industry regulators or such and such committee. Or if it were my decision, I'd handle it totally differently. Or I wasn't given a say in that matter. Sound familiar? Shirkers suffer credibility gaps. Yet when the tough questions are raised, these responses always roar back. I had no knowledge of that situation. This is the first time I've seen this report. Or I'm not sure who puts those numbers together. This really is not my area of responsibility. Politicians call it deniability. Employers just call it passing the buck. A human foible that's been around since Adam gave Eve a difficult time about the apple. So why admit mistakes? Why own up when bad things are your responsibility to clean up? Well, first, admitting mistakes builds credibility for times when you're right. People push when they smell bluff or cuff. Admitting error is a simple principle. It's easy to remember, easy to accomplish, but difficult for some people to swallow. Yet nothing makes people believe you faster when you're telling the truth than having witnessed you owning up to your responsibilities and mistakes when you're wrong. Another reason, it also shows respect for others. The saying, I hear what you're saying, and you may have you may have a right to be wrong if you want to, serves as the motto for those people who can't admit mistakes. To continue to insist that no fault lies at your door in the face of all evidence to the contrary displays a belief in the utter ignorance of those people you're addressing. The act of insisting on your own truth disregards all other evidence and opinions and reasoning. It's just disrespectful. A third reason for admitting when you're wrong, it also demonstrates humility. The ability to entertain the idea that you could be wrong shows poise, confidence, and emotional maturity. Another reason, such admissions lead the way for others to be honest about their own mistakes. And a fifth reason, if you need one, the ability to say you're wrong strengthens your leadership. Skirting responsibility is expected, but not often respected. People admire leaders with the integrity to accept responsibility for their mistakes and their decisions and their results. Fear the leader who sees no fault in himself. Pity the leader who can't communicate when he or she is wrong.